Okay, now into the warehouse. <coughs> Spirit talk. You head inside the darkened warehouse with Shannon. Her eyes have that far-off gaze associated with looking into the astral plane. When the world changed, the Native American tribes made a resurgence as well, demanding a place in the New World. They got it. The Selish Shithe Council now represents 8.6 million Amerindians across a multitude of tribes. Salish, Maka, Sinatarich, and others. They've adopted <coughs> They've adopted to the awakening better than other nations. <coughs> you can see now that collection alive in Shannon now. You notice the shift in her focus as she returns to the present. She nods to you. She can sense the spirits in this place. Now you just need to find them. As, I, as I've uh, mentioned before, the United States is actually, has been split into a number of different uh, countries by this point. Right. But, uh oh Find that data or dead meat. Seattle is actually like a small enclave of the U United Canadian and American states, surrounded by what is mostly otherwise, uh, like Native American territories. Okay. Shadow. Oh, we got some hostile shadow runners here. And an adept. Let's see. Shadow runner. Shadow runner. Okay, an adept. Physical adept. We don't want to get him to get too close. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, we've got we've got Shannon Half Sky who has like a pistol or something. Got what's her face? And who's it's here? It, it's for it's been a while since recording sessions for this. It's in, in case my no shh don't break kayfabe. I'm sorry. Don't break kayfabe. That was clumsy of me. All right, Flandry. <laughs> Flandry's gonna dash for cover. With Johnny Five at his side, ever faithful. Excellent. And switch him on. Johnny Five is alive! <laughs> I don't know that that's ever going to become tiresome. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we got a 74% shot. Not oh! Bad. Weak. Nice. That's still hard. Him. Ah, dead. Yeah, Very nice. Shannon, Shannon has some spell. Ooh, mana bolt. I love haste. No, we didn't even. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. This? I was just gonna say we didn't even try and talk to these people. <laughs> well, these are like we we got in a shootout with their buddies outside. I mean, they're not really gonna. That's true. You're the one. Nick didn't forget that because it's been a long time between recording sessions or anything, by the way. That's right. Not. Okay. I'm just just an advocate for peace. Alright. Here we've got our mage. Armor, aim, wound. Buff spells are extremely valuable and effective in this game. Hmm. In some, in some RPGs, they're sort of, they're kind of like, seem like they're kind of a waste of time. Not here. Here, you can make, a, get a lot of use out of them. I've already, I've already hasted this guy, so if he's going to be doing more stuff, might as well have him do it better. Cast aim on him. And you take cover here. So... Oh, How do they make it so that this is our own physical act? I, I, I remember I, I picked this guy. I picked this guy mostly because his weapon is an axe, <laughs> and I wanted a dwarf with an axe running around hitting people. Because why not? Got various adept abilities. I'm sorry, you're saying? Oh, I was just like wondering about the design mechanics of the game, like how. Um. How they would balance? So, so do they just make the buff spells as they are, as it, as you say, um, like very, very, uh, like very strong, or would they? Um. Well, it's they're not super strong, but it's like a, a, tw a plus twelve percent aim benefit can be a substantial edge. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, ten. Nice. No oh, a crit. There you go. They had what, like 50 HP, 40 HP? 
Uh oh, there's there's quite a few of them. If only I had some sort of big explodey area of effect type spell. Oh no, what do you say? What do you know? Okay, aim is not her aim is not the best. But I'm ho hopefully it won't it, it'll it at least won't hit my guy. Although I don't rate this hopefully. I don't rate rate this table's chances very highly, I have to say. <laughs> oh, missed. Oh! oh okay, I didn't at least it didn't hit my dude. Great job, Magic Lady. That was that was that would have been three guys, right? There. And they're big burly dudes who probably don't have much mana resistance either. Damn shame. Alright, speaking of which I'm gonna cast this mana bolt, which it's Oh four guys! Damn mages. Oh, well, you're gonna lose us that magic demographic. Well, I'm sorry. The all the all the all important magic magic users, eighteen to thirty-five. Oh. I thought it was thirty up. I thought they had to be thirty. Oh, that is the rule. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What, let's see. Okay. What, what, what's my weapon again? Oh yeah, I've got the I got the fucking rifle. Yeah. I do not. Flandry does not screw around. Yeah, I, oh, I, I got a 99% even without using the aim, the aim ability. Nice. So what is this, a uh, warehouse? Yeah. It's, it's remember where they keep, okay. like, wrecked planes? Right. Okay. Alright, number five? Kill! Really is too bad. Like you can can you upgrade him? Uh no, but you can get better ones. Okay. Okay. It is a damn shame that you can't upgrade him. This guy's in a bit of a pickle here because. Okay, I'm gonna have him run up, chop this guy, and then dash back for cover. Remember, the cool thing about uh, melee attacks is that you can it, you can use one action if you do if you do it that way you can uh, one action point will let you move and attack. If you, right. If you can, if you can reach him, if he, can, if you can reach a guy so that he's in attack range by the end of the move, which this guy will be. So he's just gonna clothesline him with the axe. That Oof. that that would be impressive. Okay, and I, I'm gonna. All right, take it. I can take another. And since he's got haste, he can take a second shot before he flees back. Oh, he's still standing. All right, now you back behind this box. Oh shit! How long does? Ow! Oof! I'm oh, sorry. What's that? How long does haste last? Uh, it depends on like the level of the spell. The lowest level one I think is only like two turns. Man, Flandry is down to half health. Jerks! <laughs> Returning fire on me. Huh? Flandry took point. He knew the risks. I guess. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, now you can like you know spells have like you know like re you know like recovery times. You can actually use a spell without waiting for its recovery time. If you uh, right, for, but then it actually hurts you physically. Right. You're, as you can see here, one turn minus sixteen to HP to cast. But in this case, there's I still got those three juicy targets standing together, and you know she did let us down last time, so I think I'm gonna ask her to take one for the team. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Oh, uh, nice. drained. And I don't think you can. I don't think you can heal that magically. Maybe next time you'll know to actually do it right the first time. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, this is the enemy adept too. So it's it's a clash of. Let's see. 
clash of melee. Thrust. Thrust does an additional 4 HP damage, ignores AP damage, which I don't think he has. Anyway, minus 15% to hit. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's still his aim is so high that it's still 96%. I'm gonna go for a thrust. Nice. Oh, we don't get a different animation or anything. Now, recall in this game they're not they're not only critical hits, they're also like weak hits. They're like anti-critical hits, basically. Right. Oh, Chief focus. Family. Make two, make two melee attacks on one target. Increase chance for a crit for critical damage. Let's try. It. All right. Yeah. Nice. He's got a big, big knife too. Yeah. That, yeah. That was. Let's see. Work, on this. Work over this guy who's already injured. Okay, her aim is... Yeah. Bunching up, but what are the odds they'll have another grenade, huh? Ah! Uh -huh. Alright, Johnny Five. You're up. <laughs> nice. I like the fact that critical hits and like you know weak hits. I like the fact that they're fairly frequent. Makes things yeah. makes things a little more unpredictable. Oh, like you can't like spend. You really can't afford to assume like well you know I know that they have they can't hurt. I know that I'm above their weapon damage because that's there aren't guarantees. Right, it does give it a strangely more realistic flavor. It's like you could. You never know when a random lucky shot is just gonna, you know, take someone's head off or whatever. Right. So do you do you play much D and D? Uh, or have you played much D and D? Ah, uh, no. There were there were some kids who would play it in my neighborhood back when I was a kid. I just never really. I was always too nervous to join them. I mean, not that they weren't nice or anything. It's just so it's basically I I was too much of a dork to play Dungeons and Dragons as a child. <laughs> That's which consider the implications of that, if you will. But uh, no, I really don't. I don't have much like 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 tabletop role RP experience. I mean, I, I know you do. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of you know D and D. I have to force myself to go try Fifth Edition because I hear nothing but good things. Are you currently but, playing uh, Fourth? Uh, no, God, no. I hate Fourth Edition. <laughs> okay, what are you playing? <laughs> three three point five slash okay. Pathfinder. Okay. A lot of homebrew stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. The reason I. The reason I ask is um, critical hits in tabletop weren't actually a thing uh, until later, like, usually the second edition for most uh, pen and paper RPGs. Really? Uh, yeah, the, the rolling 20 and getting a critical hit was a very common homebrew. That eventually rule. sort of got absorbed into official games? Yeah. Okay. So, I did not know that. It's kind of funny now that uh, because I see it does give it a more realist. Like you know, you, you think uh, critical hits kind of seems like a, a video gamey kind of thing, but it's it does make it seem more realistic, at least in this setting. Well, I mean, in real life, you know, like like one punch can you know occasionally if it hits just the wrong bone and right the just the wrong way, you know, sends slivers into a guy's brain or whatever, and bam, dead. Yeah. Yeah. 